Do you want to play last post, but you don't play the trumpet? You play the practice chant or the bagpipe? Well, then this is the video for you, because I'm going to teach you the last post for the bagpipes. Um, and I looked for sheet music online. I didn't, I didn't like anything I found for the bagpipes. So, in fact, I just, I just wrote my own version based on, based on the, the trumpet version that I know. So that's what I'm going to be going through today. And I'm going to be going through... I added a whole bunch of embellishments, but I'm going to go through the non-embellished version and and if I do subsequent videos for the workshop we'll I can always add in more embellishments down the road to start off we're going to start on low A if you don't know what low A is don't worry I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you here so pinky is up on the bottom hand all the other fingers are straight on the holes there's a thumb hole on the back which your left hands your top hand bottom hands your right hand and the first little bit's going to sound like this So that's the first kind of line that we're going to tackle here. And if we're doing non-embellished version, it's 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 pretty pretty simple. Um, if you're not used to transitioning note to note, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. But not to worry, because you can review it in the link below. There's the access for the tune workshop. It's all there, um, so you can check out that link uh, if you need a review. So here we are on low A. Our pinky is up on our bottom hand. <laughs> And we're just going to transition up to D. So our pinky drops down, other three fingers come up, top hand hasn't done anything. So we're, we're doing that dum da. We're going to do that three times in a row. So it starts off with three of those. Dum, da, that's one. Dum, da, that's two. Dum, da, that's the third one. And on the third one, we need the da, 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 da. So, uh, if that makes sense. I'm a bagpiper, not a singer, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> so here we go, the first time. The second time. And I should mention, when we're going back down to that low A, the three fingers cover the holes and the pinky has to come up. And our third time... So we need, we're playing three Ds in a row here, our D is this note here. We need to separate them with something. So we're going to separate them with a grace note, top finger, G grace note, top finger of the top hand, up and down, that's one separation. That's the slow motion version. So that's one separation. The next separation is a D strike. So you have two options for strike. You can strike down just the top finger. Sure. So that's an option for a D strike. Uh, what I tend to do in this tune, I like to do all of them. So the other option here is all the fingers come down, cover the holes, and then come up. By all, I mean just the top three fingers of your bottom hand. That pinky, either way, whichever way you do it, one finger or all three, that pinky is staying on the hole, the whole time. So if we back up a little bit, and if we back up a little bit more, So there's how we get our separation on the last note. So before we go any further, let's let's just see if we can put all those three together. So we have the two dum 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 dum, and then we have this this one that where we separate those three Ds that we just worked on. So here we go. Let's let's put all those together. There you go. So that you're 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 hopefully feeling feeling the tune. You're you're get get getting let right along here. So uh, rather than getting too tied down on embellishments just yet, I, I really like to just kind of 
feel like you you got to win and you're getting this tune under your belt. So we're going to we're going to move on and add in a little bit more in this in this first lesson here. Um, so from that last D part, we're going to jump up to F. Uh... So we're from the D. So when we go from D to F, that's a busy transition. If 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 the chanter is is new to you, uh, don't don't let this transition make you quit. Uh, I'm sure it's made lots of potentially awesome pipers quit. So hang in there, cause you will get it. Um, so we're we're on our D. We we talked about that. This transition up to F. Lots of lots of fingers going on here. Lots lots happening. These three fingers come down, cover their hole. Uh, the pinky finger on the bottom hand has to lift up off hit its hole. And then on our top hand, we're lifting up the bottom two fingers. So the top finger and the thumb stay on their holes. And we should end up in that low A position on the bottom hand. So if that transition is new to you, just, just work on that for, pause the video, work on that for a little bit. If you're good with that transition, let's move on. The next transition is a lot easier. Now this transition going from F to high A, when we're on the F, our top finger and thumb are on the hole. When we go to high A, we're gonna lift off that top finger and the thumb at the same time. And we gotta catch the hole with our ring finger of the top hand. So we should have the thumb off and the top two fingers off. And if we put that in together with the previous transition, why don't we just put together what we have so far, starting on our low A. Awesome. So that's what we got so far and I would just love to keep going through this with you in the next lesson but I just see we've ever already covered quite a lot in this video um, and I want to cover more but I don't want you so overwhelmed that you that you quit or you feel like you're banging your head against the wall. So uh, we'll continue in the next video. Again this is a free workshop um, and you can get all the videos of the workshop on the link below this one, this video. Uh, it's all there on my website so uh, check out that link. And again, I'm going through my version of this. There might be other versions online, but I didn't like them, so I just kind of wrote my own version. Keep in mind, I'm not a music major. I'm a pretty good piper, a, a good trumpet player. I'm not a music major, so that, that's, that's one reason why this is a free workshop. This is just what I like uh, for the bagpipe version. Um, but yeah, maybe someone with more music theory education would come up with, <laughs> with a better option. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this is the option I have. So. Love to see you in the next lesson. Again, get all the workshop details on the link below. And uh, it's co all completely free. So good luck with the last post so far, what we've gone through. And until next time, happy piping.